Welcome to AppChasers.com. Today we're taking a look at a great Google Analytics client in the App Store called Quicklytics. And this is the uh, iPad version that we're going to be looking at today of Quicklytics. And you can see here it's right in the iTunes App Store and you can download it today. But let's get right into it and show you all that Quicklytics can do. So I've already got Quicklytics running here on my iPad and we've got it set to our domain already. We've already got Google Analytics uh, installed on our domain, which is our Word, WordPress blog. So we've already got that set up. So we can just log in with our Google uh, username and password and see our analytics right here in front of us. So you can see on the left-hand side, we've got some graphs displayed here. And there are some that are already pre-chosen, such as uh, the visits, page views, bounce rate, pages per visit, uh, new visits, and then if you have a Google AdSense set up, you can see some of your goals track there. Now you also see a blue graph as well as a green graph. Now this is comparing today to last week and how we, how we did in comparison. At the bottom of the left-hand panel, you'll see that we can switch between today, yesterday, this whole month, and then a custom date time that we can set up here within Quicklytics. Now, where it gets very interesting is over in the middle and the right hand panes. So we've got, let's go back to our month view here. And this changes for each view, whether it's today, yesterday, or this past month. But we've got our audience here selected on the bottom, these tabs here. Uh, audience, sources, content, conversions, and then custom filters that we can set up ourselves. So if we look at, right now we've got location highlighted, and that tells us by country where the most of our visitors are coming from. And it sorts them by uh, the most visitors at the top and the least uh, going down the, the side panel here. And we can also go to language, see what language our visitors are using. We can also look at frequency. Uh, how often do they visit our site? How deep do they go in the pages? And how long their duration is? Right here in the audience tab, we can also look at the operating system that they're using while visiting our site, as well as the browser version and a host of other uh, uh, factors that we can look at. Now let's go over in here into sources. And now we're showed uh, different sites that are referring traffic to appchasers.com or whatever site that you want to track with this Quicklytics app. Now I really like the content uh, tab here at the bottom. That shows us we can uh, filter through what pages people are looking at the most. Uh, the start page, whatever page they start on. Of course I don't have that in this version here with App Chasers, but you can also look at the page titles, landing pages, what page they leave, they're looking at when they leave the site. Uh, so a lot of different filters here. And then if we uh, go right over here into custom, you'll notice that I don't have any custom reports added here. But when we're in one of the other tabs, for example, uh, page titles, let's go to page titles. And uh, up here in the right hand corner, We've got a very familiar icon, our share icon here. And we can send this report via email or as you can see, save as a custom report. Let's save that and uh, we'll hit done. Now over here on the customs tab, we have our page title uh, sorted right here. The nice thing about having this custom reports tab is we can go in and let's say we wanna set up one of these tabs to show um, who's visiting, what they're reading, and what they're, what page that they're leaving on. Well, we can go ahead right here, and if we go to our location, we can see, okay, which country are the most people visiting from? We'll hit our share tab up here on the upper right, save as a custom report, and now that will show up as well on our custom tab. So it's a nice way to just have all of your um, different values here, different analytics data uh, on one tab that you can look at. So that's Quicklytics. It's a great app. 
for looking at your uh, Google Analytics information. It's for the iPad. It's also for the iPhone. It works pretty much the same on the iPhone. Um, and I think you'll really like it when you take a look at Quicklytics. Thank you.